Which celebrity got cancelled and you genuinely felt bad for them? Amanda Bynes. From what I've seen she was abused by Dan Schneider at Nickelodeon Studios for years and a lot like Britney is currently under conservatorship because of a total mental mental break. Love Brendan Fraser always and still a Rayo and copyright airing. Corey Feldman. He was the first who told everyone what was really going on with child actors in Hollywood and no one listened. Brendan Fraser. The man was groped by Hollywood exec Philip Burke and spoke out about it long before me too. They instantly cancelled him and we never got to see him again till only recently. His mom also passed away shortly after he got s sorely assaulted. My boy Brendan Fraser got blacklisted after being molested by a higher up in the movie industry wife divorced him taking his money too. After all the joy that man has brought us he got the short shti covered side of the stick. Edit. To all those who wish to know who did that to him it was a man named Philip Burke an ex-president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Associations. Can I add Shelley Duvall to the list? Was in a string of great Robert Altman films in the 1970s. And did her own string of cable shows in the 1980s. Shelley Duvall's Fear Tale Theater. Tall Tales and Legends. And Bedtime Stories. Also. She did a few musical albums. And even created some computer games in the 1990s. Like A Bird's Life and A Dog's Life. There is way more to her than Wendy Torrain and The Shining. Now. She is completely forgotten. Except when people call her crazy or something. She deserves way better in my opinion. Britney Spears. She didn't even get cancelled. Peter Norman. He should have been Australia's greatest athlete. But he supported the Black Power salute and got blacklisted by the Australian Olympic Committee. David Arquette. There's a really good documentary called You Cannot Kill David Arquette about what happened and how he is now. Ashley Judd. Harvey Weinstein blacklisted her for years. She's an incredible actress emo. This probably won't get seen. But the guy from The Dude You're Getting Adele. Commercials got fired and blacklisted over weed. Paul Rubens. As an 80s kid who loved Pee Wee's Playhouse. Remembering how my parents tried to explain Paul Rubens getting cancelled is hilarious. My dad told me he took off his clothes in a movie theater and kid me was like wow that's really weird but I guess he is kind of crazy. Winning a rider. That feels like one of the first big cancels of the internet age. Glad she was able to rebound with Stranger Things. Howard Dean. He yelled in excitement at one of his political rallies in 2004. People thought he was wasn't fit to be president because of it. Edit. Thank you for the awards nice internet people. I think about this often. An excited whoop made you unfit and too unstable for the presidency in 2004. The world has progressed in a really bizarre way since then. Janet Jackson. PRN star August Ames killed herself after people bullied her for not wanting to do a scene with a gay actor. The reason why she didn't was because gay PRN has different safety standards than straight PRN. So she could have gotten an STD. Even if that wasn't so. Whatever happened to choosing who you want to have sx with? Suicide warning. Hana Kimura. She was an Indonesian Japanese wrestler who often played the heel. And she wanted to be an actress. And she was offered a chance to be in the reality show Terrace House. She jumped at it. As we all know. Reality shows are scripted. In a scene. Hannah, remember. A professional wrestler on a reality show, slapped removed another contestant's hat, won, and scolded him. Her Twitter and Instagram accounts were over and with awful comments. Racist criticisms. And death threats for weeks. But over time it tapered off. Part of a reality show producer's job is to know how the audience thinks of all of the stars. The company monitors media coverage and social media trends. They knew. But right after quarantine started in Japan. They re-aired the episode. Hannah lived alone. When the abuse began again. It must have seemed endless. She apologized on social media. 
took her kitten to the stardom wrestling office and went home to kill herself. She was 22. 1. Edit. I hadn't watched the video since her death in May. Thank you to everyone who reminded me of the facts. Paul Rubens Acker Pee Wee Herman. He had a reputation of being kind of a stuck up arsehole when the Pee Wee character shot to fame. But not really any better or worse than other famous folks. He got cancelled because he was arrested for public indecency. He was caught emsturbating in an adult theater. Aside from the undercover cop who caught him. He was alone. And it was a normal adult pornography film. But the industry and media acted like he'd been caught with child PRN or had arped someone. He's made a bit of a comeback recently though. I think people finally realize that in the grand scheme of SX crimes. Jerking it by yourself in a PRN theater is nothing at all. I saw his Pee Wee revival on Broadway several years ago and enjoyed it. And I've seen him on a lot of the celebrity game shows on TV recently. Monica Lewinsky. Edit. Thank you guys so much for the awards. Apparently John Oliver had a segment in his show with her and I just watched it. She seems such a genuine person. Judging from her Twitter account. She seems like a lovely person. It's a shame. Dave Chappell said it best. Who hasn't sucked a dick they regretted? And Bill was a charismatic dude too. Lots of people get into relationships with authority figures during lapses in judgment. But Monica has been the butt of a joke because of it for two decades because of her lapse in judgment. Shtty situation. She deserves better. Edit. I love that I'm getting a bunch of replies saying IT was not a lapse in judgment. But then half of them are blaming Clinton for making a move on her. And the other half are blaming Lewinsky for going through with it. Also. FCK the person that said Lewinsky doesn't deserve better. Chris Brown. Not completely gone. But Terry Crews has issues getting work because he spoke out about being s sorely assaulted during the Me Too movement. People assumed a man his stature couldn't be assaulted and he gave names and people weren't very happy. Wendy Williams mocked him on her show when he spoke up about it. Britney Spears poor f king woman Hollywood and her family destroyed her. Edit. Sin registered Synad O'Connor. The Dixie Chicks. She isn't full on cancelled but what Keisha went through was so messed up. Not only was she abused but her abuser was part of the record label and she wasn't able to leave her contract. I don't know if he was cancelled but Hollywood did Brendan Fraser dirty. Sad to see him working again. I hear Doom Patrol's good. Edit. I want to thank all that corrected me. He was blacklisted not cancelled. I don't want to blur the lines between the two. I'm just not very hip. Elizabeth Olsen. Her co-worker died and she didn't post to social media immediately as it was happening. So people bullied her off of her social media accounts. You know who you are. If you were part of that mess. You don't deserve to watch WandaVision or Doctor Strange 2. I legit have no idea what you're talking about I don't know anyone who doesn't absolutely love Elizabeth Olsen. Totally Al Franken. He admitted his role in a bad joke. Apologized. And was still cancelled despite the victim saying it's all good. Thanks for the apology. Anne was a fantastic senator. All while grab M by the PSSY was allowed free reign. I don't think many of you understand the question. Not a celebrity but a YouTuber. Tabuscus was accused of S or assault or something. He completely proved himself innocent and the accuser admitted to lying. But his career was still destroyed. The fact that all the Yautabas that knew him came out and said he was a cokehead with behavioral issues probably had something to do with it. Taylor Swift. Poor woman got treated like shti four years for dating just like any other 20 something year old does. Then she gets cancelled and bullied for over a year for the Kimai situation. Which turned out to be a massive lie the whole time. FCK Kanye West and Kim Kardashian man. I can't say as you'll cancel me with down votes. I was pretty upset for James Gunn when he got fired from Marvel for things he had said over 10 years ago. 
but obviously fan outrage over that managed to make Disney realize how stupid their decision was. Jenna Marbles. I did not watch her content like a lot of people I know did. But the fact that she got cancelled for something she said 10 years ago is sad and just unfair. I said a lot of stupid things like 3 years ago. Are people going to use that against me the very very slim possibility I get famous for something? Michael Richards. I don't feel bad he got cancelled. I just felt bad when he tried to apologize on Letterman and the audience was laughing and thinking it was a joke just because it's Kramer. Gina Carano. Julius Caesar. Jenna Marbles. I miss her every day. She was one of the most wholesome creators on YouTube. I still don't quite understand why she left. But I respect that she's a human too and she wants privacy right now. I'll support her if she ever comes back into public eye. And I'll support her if she is off the internet for the rest of her life. Edit to add. I don't understand why she left because I've never been in the public eye like her. I can't imagine what it's like or how it influences oneself. The original Jake from State Farm. Corey Feldman. Ugh Barbara Walters pissed me off so much during that segment. He was right the whole time and everyone knew it. I feel bad for both Corys. Remember when Michael Phelps got cancelled because he got caught smoking weed? Brendan Frazier, he spoke the truth. He admitted media moguls molested him. He was blackballed for more than a decade. Chris Hardwick didn't deserve to have false accusations from his crazy ex ruin parts of his career. Luckily it didn't blow up too much and he was able to stay in Hollywood. Johnny Depp. Howard Dean. The man's chance to be president was wiped out because he got a little too excited and said yeah really loud. Johnny Depp getting fired off of pirates while Amber Heard stays on Aquaman is beyond infuriating. Louis C. K. Colon. Al Franken. He was a great senator and comedian who made some dumb s jokes years ago in an environment when those dumb jokes were not toxic. He was tried and convicted by a group of woke liberals who should have supported him. Edit. Just saw that someone else said the same thing. Upvote them instead. Liam Neeson. Dude was reminiscing about a dark time in his life when he was younger growing up when his country was mired in turmoil. But yeah. Cancel him for owning up to that of his own volition and not because he was found out or called out by someone else. The dude is in like 3-5 big movies every year. Gina Carano. Cancel culture is a form of modern mass bullying. If ya don't like something. Or someone. Just don't interact. Pretty simple really. Monica Lewinsky. What was done to her was horrific. Many of the celebrities mentioned didn't really get cancelled. They just suffered varying degrees of popularity decline because of their words actions. Which is part of the entertainment industry. Al Frankenos's political career was terminated because of a bad joke he made years ago. Gina Carano. Can't believe I haven't seen it yet. But Johnny Depp got FK pretty good. Also FCK Amber Heard lying ass. Kevin Spacey. Haha <laughs> just kidding FCK that guy. Aziz Ansari. He's been making a comeback. But from what I understand of the situation. His offense was little more than a faux pas that would end a date on rough terms. But the timing of it near the Me Too movement had all guns aimed his way. I'm gonna say it. Louis C.K. Al Franken. He was both my senator and my favorite politician. He would have made a great president. Chris Hardwick's cancelling remains the one where I'm just not on board. J. K. Rowling. I absolutely support trans rights but there has to be space for the old guard of a movement to grow and learn. To immediately reach for the guillotine every time an older person is less progressive than the vanguard is misguided imho. Most of them. The chick from Mandalorian. Megan Fox. 
She called out Michael Bay on his SZT that's clear in all his movies but what really got her cancelled, more so blacklisted than anything, was she called him a Nazi. I don't know the full quote but look it up. This is not gonna be a popular one but Gina Carano. To me that whole situation boiled down to her being fired because she had different political views. I don't really think that's right and no one should be scared to lose their job because their personal political beliefs don't align with their boss or the company. No matter where you are on the political spectrum it shouldn't matter as long as you're doing your job. Everyone during the McCarthy hearings. I'd have to say Sinead O'Connor. She was absolutely trashed by the media. Written off as a complete nutcase and ruthlessly mocked. All because a bunch of pearl-clutching fools refused to believe the increasingly obvious realities of the church and decided that the Pope was above criticism. She was entirely vindicated in the subsequent years, actually. The truth was far worse than even the church's worst critics could have imagined. But the legacy of that witch hunt lives on. Did SNL. Frank Sinatra. Or any of the other Fkers who were involved ever apologize to her? The chicks. Formerly known as the Dixie Chicks. Like. Why are you booing them? They're right. Taylor Swift with all of the Kanye shit that has followed her in her career up until folk more ev more but I can't talk about it or else I won't shut up. Gina Carano. Let the down votes begin. Judgy. Even though he didn't get cancelled cancelled just the fact that Twitter tried to cancel him amazes me and saddens me at the same time. Yeah. It's also surprising how late it clicked for many people that he was the genius behind Filthy Frank. Britney Spears Free Britney. I'm not sure but someone who should be cancelled is Chris Brown. He literally beat the shitty out of Rihanna and radio stations cancelled him for like a day. Dude is a total scumbag SND is still able to put out hits and make millions. Gina Carano. Enough said. I like how I'm getting downvoted for this. I'm ignoring replies on this comment. Cause I'm sick of arguing with the shats. Garrison Keeler. A single moment decades ago ended up destroying his entire career. The circumstances were far too ambiguous to warrant that. Edit. Wow. My first silver and gold. Thank you. The creator of the new she -Ra. Basically people took all kinds of things severely out of context from a liver stream and then spread them around in order to make all kinds of weird claims. Uh, Noel Stevenson? What are you talking about? Are you referring to the shti jokes about Bose brothers? Because a fake there was backlash and a reasonable apology and her projects have gone ahead. Aziz Ansari. I read that whole thing and came away with this girl wasn't good at communicating and this dude just sucks in bed. I really didn't think he deserved to be put among peers like Louis CK. Jenna Marbles. Brendan Fraser. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Gina Carano. Louis CK. The Dixie Chicks got their career ended and death threats for saying they didn't support the war in Iraq. Honestly. Most of the celebrities mentioned so far haven't really been cancelled. They're still doing good and have fan bases. I will say the Dixie Chicks was probably one where I was like all they did was say they didn't support the war and are getting death threats and when you consider how poorly the war went. They kinda had a point. Colin Kaepernick, blackballed by the NFL for silently taking a knee. He took it in stride and turned it into a movement. Louis C.K. Gina Carano. Sinead O'Connor. Spoke out against corruption and pedophilia in the Catholic Church very blatantly in her SNL act. Was completely removed from anything in the entertainment industry. Turns out instead of moral outrage people should have listened. I've seen in somewhat recent interviews that she is somewhat well adjusted despite it all. She knew it was going to cross a line when she did it. But she believes it pushed any investigation into such things forward and possibly gave people courage to speak up. Cancel culture is bullying for adults. If you disagree with someone or genuinely dislike them stop paying attention to them. If they've done something illegal let them be judged by those deemed worthy to do so. 
We spend way too much time hating people. Just ignore them and appreciate those around you. Liam Neeson. The man isn't just an incredible actor he's an amazing human being who gives selflessly and asks for nothing. But because he admitted to having a racially violent thought way back when. When he was much younger and much more naive. A thought he literally said he was ashamed he'd ever had in the first place. The piece of shti journalist interviewing him twisted the narrative to make Liam look like a racist just to make a name for himself. I don't think he's cancelled per se. I still watch his movies. I'm a person of color and understand his perspective. Dude is old too. Like he lived in a different time period and as times change he realized he was in the wrong. James Gunn being removed from Guardians of the Galaxy 3 seemed like a hatchet job to me. The stupid shit he was responsible for had Iike happened years before his contract at Disney and he had already apologized for them beforehand. Fortunately he was eventually reinstated so the only lasting impact is that he was free to take on a new Suicide Squad film for Warner Brothers. And Guardians 3 will happen later in the MCU pipeline than originally planned. Liam Neeson. He was having a frank and honest conversation about his past feelings and emotions around a sensitive topic from his past. Gina Carano. Johnny Depp. Kevin Hart. Kind of, his lifelong dream was to host the Oscars and when he got picked for that people went through all of his tweets to find one gay joke he made years and years earlier, which he had already apologized for prior, and caused such a public outrage that the Oscars wouldn't let him host anymore.